Episode 10 of Season 3, The Swordsmith Village Arc of Demon Slayer is now available for you guys to go and check out. I've just watched it. I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on it. Smash your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you guys all think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down there. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And let's talk about the newest episode of Demon Slayer right now. Okay, so Demon Slayer Episode 10 done and dusted now last week's episode was absolutely awesome we obviously saw the the uh mist hashira absolutely just destroy upper moon five just absolutely like wasn't even a contest wasn't even he was just toying with him and then we have upper moon four starting to dominate here and out of nowhere the love hashira finally arrives ready to go to battle with upper moon four so that's what this whole episode is about it's surrounding this battle of upper moon four versus the Love Hashira, Tanjiro, Genya, and Nezuko. So that is all happening in this episode. And we also get some backstory to the Love Hashira as well. Now, I told you all last time, manga readers would know. But anyone that hasn't read the manga or anything like that, I told you all last time, do not sleep on the Love Hashira. She is actually very strong. And in this episode, we see that she is not like a normal human being. She has this muscle structure that is not of her built and even upper moon 4 makes that suggestion in this video where he commends her on her ability to get faster to be stronger and isn't just like a normal female she is actually a lot stronger and that's where it goes into her backstory and her whole backstory is she's grown up and she has this extraordinary strength like she's able to pick up a 33 pound rock stone when she's a child so obviously she's born with this natural gift of strength and this now makes it harder for the traditional stuff to happen in her life like for instance as a female her i the idea is for her to go and get married but it find she finds it very hard to find a person to marry because she's stronger than them she has pink hair and the one guy comments like i don't want that that funny colored hair to bleed into my bloodline so you have this whole idea of her not being able to fulfill her duties that she believes and feeling like an outcast so she has this really good backstory that promotes her to become this strong in so when she joins the demon slayer core no one there is complaining about her strength or anything like that they welcome that they welcome the uniqueness of her because she's something different so this is where we start to see her and the Serpent Hashira start to form a bond in here as well. So if you're a manga reader, you know where that's going to go. But you see them starting to form a bond here where the Serpent Hashira gives gives her, I'm pretty sure it's like the socks, gives her those and says, look, if you break them, I'll give you some new ones. It's fine. But this is the first time she's feeling like love and compassion from a man at this point in time. So she has this really, really unique and cool backstory. And then we go back to this battle with Upper Moon 4 and bro, uh, the love breathing looks absolutely awesome in here. I love the pink, the colorization of the pink on screen here. The way that it's animated, it looks absolutely awesome. And especially when, look, it's very vibrant. Like, so you have this dark setting in the forest here. And obviously, Upper Moon 4, he has the bright red eyes, but everything else is quite like a dark tone. Obviously, you have his... his dragon tree lizard things and they're very brown as well so when you see the love breathing and you see the pink it just flashes out it comes out the brightness of the color it just works on so many levels and you can tell that she's using it and it looks absolutely incredible so she's battling up a moon four and she's about to like get absolutely ko'd because she gets hit by um i think it's joy's like electric blast that comes out of his like sound wave thing that comes out of his mouth so she gets hit by that and upper moon four is about to come in and obviously tanjiro and everyone saves her and tanjiro again the the personality of him is rubbing off on everyone because this is where he talks about we need to get her free because she is the beat like the light of hope she is the hope with her we can defeat this demon and this sparks her and then she starts to slow her like speed up her heart rate sorry she starts to speed it up to make herself go faster and to get the blood flowing to make herself stronger and this is where upper moon does upper moon four makes that comparison of like whoa what's going on here one minute she's not that quick now all of a sudden she's blistering fast and she's stronger so you have them going head to head there they're battling upper moon four versus the love hashira going at it and then we have tanjiro 
Genya and Nezuko all chasing after the real main body to slash the head of the demon to get rid of Upper Moon 4. And with that, they go and they find the branch and they grab onto it. It goes up that's holding the little body of the little demon. And this is where we see Genya's powers come to fruition as he starts to absolutely just bite the crap out of this tree. And he's just ripping this, this tree flesh off and he rips it in half and rips the top of the head off. And as it flies, Nezuko and Tanjiro go down there. Tanjiro's about to slice it. Nezuko burns it. And then Genya and Nezuko rip it apart and he's not there. So where is he going? He's running off and this is where Tanjiro is like, nah, 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 nah. It's not happening here. So next week's episode, we're coming to the climactic end here. We are coming to the climactic end of this battle. I don't know whether they're going to do the Hashira training arc attached to this season or if it's going to be like a movie or that's going to be for next season. I don't know what, what they're going to do with that. But... We are definitely getting towards the end here. Uh, the animation, again, is just absolutely incredible. It looks fantastic in this episode. The music, the score is all on point. The plot, I mean, if you read the manga, you know what's going to happen. You know where we're going. But I feel like this, this has been a good season so far. Like, this is a good one. This isn't one of the strongest arcs, the Swordsmith Village arc. I think the, the next arc that we're going to get, the Infinity castle arc is just going to be whoo, you guys are in for a treat with that one i tell you that but overall i like this episode it's good i'm still waiting to see what what they're going to do with the hashira training arc that's going to be interesting to see where they added and what they do with that but overall really enjoyed it so let me know what you guys think of this episode did you love it did you hate it smash it down there smash that like button click subscribe and i'll see you guys next video until then stay safe and peace out